What's up everybody? Hope you're doing absolutely awesome out there. Thank you so much for coming back to join me for another video. My name is Aaron and in this video we are talking about the Cafe Sing Grizz Hand Grinder. So real quick, before you watch this whole video, I just wanted to clarify something real quick. In the video, I state that this grinder is 99 US dollars. And at the time of me filming this video, that was their early bird pricing. However, since then, the cost of the grinder has gone up to $119. So I just wanted to make sure I put this in here in the beginning so that there was no confusion. Again, I do mention in the video, the grinder is $99. It is no longer $99, it is 119 US dollars. However, everything I say in this video about this grinder and the way I feel about this grinder, doesn't change because the price has gone up 20 bucks. So um, just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. And also I reached out to Cafe Sing about this because I didn't want there to be any confusion and they have agreed to give me a discount code, which I will pin down in the comments below for you guys to check out. And the first 20 uh, US customers that purchase a grinder through Cafe Sing's website using that code will get the grinder for the $99 price point I mentioned in the video. And when that comment is deleted, that means that that code is no longer valid and that all 20 of those um, you know, grinders have been sold at that discounted price. So make sure you check the description for the link to Cafe Sing's website and for the code uh, down in, in the comments. And again, once that comment's deleted, that early bird pricing discount code is no longer available. So I just wanna make sure you were aware of that before you watch the video. Now, back to the video. This is a 99 US dollar all around hand grinder, meaning you can grind from French press to espresso. It's got 38 millimeter conical stainless steel burrs. It features an all metal construction body with external burr adjustment and toolless disassembly and reassembly for cleaning, which is really nice. And it's got a 38 gram capacity if you wanna load this thing up for a larger brew. So I've been using this grinder every day for the past few weeks since Cafe Sing sent it to me and yes, Cafe Sing did send me this grinder for free, but we don't have any sort of contract. They're not paying me any additional monies to do this YouTube review or any other sort of content, and they don't have any influence in this review, nor do they get to see it before you do. I really like the all metal construction on the Grizz. Uh, I think they did a nice job with the machine work. The fit and finish of everything is really nice. This powder coated black finish seems very nice and smooth and it also seems durable, which is good. I also really like the fact that this grinder is toolless, which means you can take this apart, clean it and reassemble it without requiring any tools. And I think that's really nice. A lot of hand grinders out there, while they don't require a ton of tools, they have kind of a little frustrating clip that sits up here at the top of the shaft. Um, that can be kind of a pain in the butt to get in and out. Sometimes you lose it. Some grinders even come with spare clips because they know that that's a thing that you could potentially lose. And so having something like this where you just unscrew this top bearing plate on here and slide the shaft out is really nice and really simple. It's literally that quick and you can have it apart. So that's really nice. To take the rest of this housing apart where the external burr adjustment is and the stationary burr are housed, you simply just rotate this thing uh, clockwise. It's a reverse thread and you can pull the whole rest of the grinder body apart. Each click on here is 16 micron change in your grind setting and there are 120 total click positions around this. So you've got some good adjustability to this to be able to get you know, espresso dialed in and things like that, which I haven't found to be a problem at all. One thing that I was actually really pleased to see with this grinder was the fact that they included a brush. And while that's not uncommon to see brushes that come with grinders, um, it is a little uncommon to see one that's this nice of quality. This is like a full metal bodied brush here. That's really nice. Most of the brushes that come with a lot of grinders, even some more expensive grinders, are usually just kind of cheesy, plasticky sort of brushes that aren't all that great. So I was actually really pleased to see this. One of the things I have had a little bit of frustration with with this grinder um, is this external burr adjustment. And it's not the mechanism itself, it's not how it works, it's not the functionality, it's the location. With it being placed right here in the middle of the grinder, there have been several times where I've been grinding, especially lighter roasted stuff where I'm having to put in a little bit more input, where I've been really gripping the grinder, I've accidentally rotated this you know, grind adjustment with my hand and changed my grind setting mid-grind. So that's not good, that's obviously not ideal, you don't want that. Um, so to counter that, I've been been sort of choking up a little bit more on the grinder but one thing you got to be careful with there is if you choke up too high or you're not paying attention especially again with some lighter roasted stuff where you're really putting in some input putting in some work um, 
you can whack your knuckles or whack the side of your hand with this um, with this handle. So that's one thing I wish was a little bit different. I wish there was um, you know a way they could have better placed this grind adjustment or even made made the you know external adjustment locking in some way so that once you have your grind setting locked in you can't you know move this accidentally while you're grinding that would have been something that would have been nice but i'm sure that would have required you know some other design work obviously some more machining some different components in it and it may have bumped the price of this grinder up so again for the price point i think this thing is great just a couple of little things like that that are you know frustrations that you're going to have to to work around with something like this but you know you do get great coffee from it as a result so the other thing that I've noticed with the Cafe Sing Grizz is the fact that it is slightly larger in diameter than some other hand grinders. I don't know if you can see that, um, but you might be able to see it here better on the, the side angle. Um, it doesn't seem like it's much bigger, but being slightly bigger in diameter than something like the Kin Grinder K6 here um, makes it harder to grip. Now, may not be a problem for some of you. I don't have all that large of hands though. So just noticing the small difference, the few millimeters in diameter, you know, that this seems to be different. I can't get quite as much of my hand gripped around this one as I can something like the Kin Grinder or something of similar size. And so I've also noticed that that's made it a little bit more difficult for me to grind. Um, again, especially with lighter roasted. I think this grinder, obviously like with any grinder, you know, denser, lighter roasted beans are harder to grind. But I feel like you especially really notice that in a hand grinder. So I would say for me, for light roasted stuff, this guy hasn't been my favorite, not because I haven't been getting good results in the cup with it, but the, the use factor of it, the ease of use, holding the grinder, turning the grinder, all those things feel more difficult in this to me, again, with lighter roasted stuff than with something like the Kin Grinder K6. Now it does have good texture in the body. There's these grooves machined into it. And just like with their Orca grinder, you get these rubber um, you know, grip rings here that do definitely help in being able to grip the grinder. But again, for me, just that, that larger diameter makes it you know, noticeably a little bit more difficult to grind. When it comes to grind quality, I've actually been very impressed with the Cafe Sing Grizz. I've been getting really tasty shots of espresso with this. Um, and I've kind of primarily been using it for espresso because I personally don't care for conical burr flavor profiles for filter brews, but I have done some filter brews with it that have been very good. I wasn't displeased with them at all. I just think this guy shines a little bit more on espresso for good, textured, traditional style, you know, medium to darker roast shots that make really fantastic lattes. I've been making some very, very good lattes using a little bit more medium roast than I typically would use. Um, and almost every day since having this thing, I've been making some really tasty lattes with this. Um, so that, that's a good thing. If you're really into milk drinks, if you're into good, you know, traditional kind of syrupy style, espresso shots, then this guy right here is going to do a great job with that. And overall, it hasn't been any more difficult to grind with this, with that style of coffee than it's been with any other hand grinder that I have. This grinder uses 38 millimeter stainless steel conical burr, which they call their Grizz burr. I don't know if this is an off the shelf burr or a burr that was specifically designed for this grinder. It does look similar to conical burrs I've seen in other hand grinders and some electric grinders. But either way, like I said, I've been getting really good results with this. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. So with that being said, I think we should pull a shot, do a quick filter brew, and see how this guy tastes. All right, so we've got our filter brew here. We've got our shot of espresso pulled. So I'll go ahead and start with the filter brew while we're letting the espresso cool down a little bit. Okay, that's good. That's nice. Overall, this is a good cup. Good fruit sweetness, good stone fruit sort of um, fruit forwardness, if you will. This coffee does have a good amount of uh, kind of fruitiness to it, so I'm definitely getting that. Lacking a little bit of complexity and some clarity. Flavor notes are, are pretty intermingled, but it's not bad. It's definitely better than I've had with some conicals. Um, again, traditionally, I'm not a conical burr, uh, you know, flavor profile type of person when it comes to filter brews. I much prefer flat burrs and the, the level of clarity you get with most, you know, good flat burrs. Um, but this isn't bad at all, especially not bad for a $99 hand grinder. Let's give this espresso a go. That's pretty tasty. Good body, really good sweetness, nice juicy acidity. The finish is very good. Little bit of underlying sort of dark chocolate kind of flavor. But what really stands out to me in this is this sort of lemony and sort of cherry. It's like lemon, like, like lemon pie maybe, like lemon meringue and like cherry, um, like a, a tart, tart cherry, like a darker cherry. Um, 
really good, uh, nice and bright up front with that lemon sort of flavor and then good sort of middle tones of like tart cherry or stone fruit and then just a nice even finish with some chocolate sweetness. It's very smooth, the body's really good. This is a, this is a great shot. Minus a few of the things I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I wish were a little bit different about the Cafe Sing Grizz, I still feel like for 99 bucks at that price point, this is a great little grinder. The build quality is good. The fit and finish is good. Um, overall, it's just a really solid little guy. Thanks again to Cafe Sing for sending this out to me to check out. There's links down in the description for you to check out as well if this is something you're interested in. And let me know what you think of this grinder. If you have it or you have experience with it, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of it. I think, again, overall for the price point, it's a good, solid little buy. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.